This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom a hundred thousand blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm just as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and far lands are bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of the 100,000 block journey. When we left off, we, um... We're, we just camped out here with this nice little see-through door where the monsters could ogle at us in our sleep. Oh, oh, oh it's so beautiful. Uh, that's our screenshot. That's our thumbnail right there because that is just absolutely gorgeous. But, um... We have to go that way. Um, we might have to leave our horse soon, which is unfortunate because this horse has carried us so far. Um... But it might almost be his time. And we've al already almost had to let go of him one time. But it turned out that we could save him. So, for right now, I'm fairly sure that this is goodbye to the horse. Um, so, horse, after we get on this land, I'm going to have to ditch you to just live here. There's plenty of grass for you to eat. Um, rabbits and stuff for you to hunt. And stuff. Oh, wait, there's more land. Horse. Okay, we'll, we'll get... There's horses for you to frolic about with. I think... I think that this is this is his place. This is his time to go. So horse, I'm I'm sorry. You you were let me dismount. You were a good horse. Um, and oh, that's majestic looking. There we go. You were such a great horse. I've never had a horse like you. You've carried me thousands of blocks, and without you, our goal would not be able. We would not accomplish our goal as quickly as possible. So horse, I just like to say. Thanks for the memories, and enjoy. Go free. Eat grass. Have the uh, Go ha play with other horses. Have horse babies. Start a family. And if you ever, if you're still alive when I return, sen send me a letter. Send me a postcard. Just tell me about yourself. Add me on f on a, on Facebook or something. Um, but horse, no you're going to drown and die. Anyways, horse, thanks for your service, and... I salute you. Okay, that's enough time. So yeah, we we had to let go of our horse. Um, let's plan down the scrapping table so we can make ourselves. Uh, quickly, let's gather some wood because we don't have that much. Um, so we'll just make ourselves an actual quick. Uh, we'll we'll leave the horse in a bit. Um, but we really need to get some wood for our journey. Uh, this is day fourteen. Uh, the next day is going to be day 15, and of course that means, since it is the uh, uh, multiple of 5, we get to check our distance by pressing F3. So that will be fun, we will get to check how far we've gone. Uh, when we're around 90,000 blocks or so, we're going to stop that, because we're going to need to see when we get to 100,000 blocks. So that we can, um, so that this series doesn't go on longer than it needs to be, and the audience will still... Uh, retain interest. Um, so that's going to happen whenever, but that that's still quite a ways off. Uh, last time we checked, we were, what, 22,000 blocks? I don't know how far we're going to be now. Um, if we average 2,000 blocks a, a day, uh, and it's been, or this is estimating by the end of day 15, if we average 2,000 blocks a day, and by the end of day 15, we will have traveled five days, we will have traveled 10,000 blocks, so we should be roughly around 32,000 blocks, but that's the estimate. We'll see where we actually turn up, uh, turn up, um, when we reach the end of day 15. So, um, we've got our wood, we've got our tools, let's just discard this sapling and this unnecessary blocks and stone that we don't need. We don't necessarily need to be carrying around this furnace anymore or those bones. Uh, those diamonds are necessary, but they're cool to have. So yeah, now let's um, head back over here. We'll build a boat and then we'll, we'll get, we will get sailing again. Uh, this episode, you guys have submitted some questions. Not as many as the previous episodes, but that's perfectly fine. I'm not trying to force you guys to submit questions. Um, any questions that I get, even if it's just one, are fine. So yeah, uh, no no questions from Warcraft this episode, so the, the Great Dictator has finally been taken down. Uh, I keyed, I keyed. Warcraft's great. Um, not the game. I've never played the game, but the person. 
So, yeah, uh, questions. We'll get into those when we hit these open seas. Is that... Could that be... Could that be a water temple? Or could it just be another land formation? So anyways, let's hit the first question from a new... Uh, I don't know if they're a new viewer, a new commenter at least. JamieTube asks me, how do you record Terraria? And I've said this before, it's also in the About page on my channel. Um, I sort of tried to hint that everything was there by saying you can click About to see the schedule. But what I use to record Terraria and pretty much every game is DX Tori. I occasionally have to use Fraps if something isn't working. But for the majority of the time, I use DX Tori. Uh, and I find DX Story a lot better than Fraps, probably because you can, um, there's multiple audio tracks, you can, you have a lot more options for custom ability, or you have a lot more options for the videos, uh, separate audio tracks is really great, because you can adjust the volume individually, you don't have to get both the speaker volumes and the game volume and any other volume, external volumes you want, uh, correct, like you do with Fraps. Um, it's just so easy to configure, and I love DX Story, so that's what I use. So I hope that answers your question, Jamie. I presume your name is Jamie. It, is, it says Jamie Tube. Next question from Jack Cutlip. He asked me, TXW, do you play Terraria on console? And the answer to that is, well, I'm going to explain some things first. Yes, I have a console. It is a PlayStation 3. Yes, I have Terraria on the console. It's Terraria for the PlayStation 3. No, I do not. Oh, hit the mic. No, I do not play t uh, PS3 anymore. It's mo I sold it. I bought it for my family to use, and then um, because I, w I stopped using I sold it uh, for a reduced price to my family so that I could buy the parts I needed to build my computer. It wasn't like trying to be stingy or anything. It was, there, it was reasonable, and I'm not trying to screw over my family. So, yeah, I sold my PS3 to my family to buy parts for my computer, so I don't really play it that much anymore. Occasionally, I might play a game with one of my sisters or so. But for the most part, I don't play it, so no, I don't play Terraria on console. And I don't, I'm don't. i not going to fire it up to play with anybody on console. Um, the only time I might play with somebody on Terraria is when I launch a Terraria server, which I do plan to do in the future if I, um, if I can add it into my... Ex oh, hit the mic again. If I can add it to my expenses coming from my PayPal. Um, because... My expenses each month include ten dollars a month for Photoshop, twenty dollars a month for Premiere. It used to be five dollars per server for Minecraft servers, but I can probably I've cut those funds, so I'm it, I'm losing thirty dollars from my account. I'm not making that much, and the rest of the money goes to like buying games, or uh, it stays in my account, or it um, or I use it to buy something from eBay. So I don't have a ton of expense uh, money to spin on that, but I'll, I'm trying to fit a server in there somewhere, so that's someplace. People ask me all the time if I want to play Terraria. N no, I don't really enjoy doing that, um, unless it's with somebody that I actually know, um, either personally or that I've gotten to know pretty well from the internet, but yeah, mostly I don't play with people. Um, so when I, when I get a server, I will be able to play with you guys if you want to. So, yeah, I don't play Terraria on console. Hope that answers your question, Jack. Um, now we have some questions from Elboy11. Uh, I forgot to answer one of his questions from the last episode, uh, that he asked me. He had four questions. Um, I just accidentally skipped over one. Uh, he asked me, do you go to any religious places, church, oh, dang it, uh, church, synagogue, temple, etc., um... So, the, here's a here's something. Um, I'm, the word guidelines a bit strict, but something about questions. I don't really want to share personal information. Um, like, um, what I mean by that is I don't want to publicly state my political and religious views, as that could lead to controversy and controversy in the comments and hateful comments and that I don't mind hateful com comments directed towards me. In fact, I quite enjoy them. They're quite enjoyable to read. But when stuff, when s people discuss stuff like that, it usually leads to a comment war. And when that happens, if that happened in my comments, um, people that didn't disagree with my religious or political views and opinions, they might attack um, other commenters. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to keep my religious and political views private. Uh, of course, uh, occasionally I will make a, a political joke. I've done it several times. Like, um, I tried to make one. I don't know if people picked up on it, but I tried to make a 
I don't know, really know if this is political joke. I tried to make a joke about the German air wings crash in the snow let's play when we were playing that, uh, when I selected the drop point near the airline crash. I said, hey, I wonder if there's any Germans in there. That was kind of a political joke. Um, and it was a bit dark. Yes, it was. But that's just my sense of humor. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch my stuff. Um, so I'll, oh, those shadows are nice. I'll occasionally make a political joke or two. Um, but I'd like to keep my political, religious views and opinions uh, private for the sake of me, for the sake of my privacy, and for the sake of uh, viewers not being attacked in the comments by people that disagree with people that may be trying to support me or that are against me. Um, speaking of religious, religious views, that's interesting. Um, and... and all that stuff so yeah and then also i don't really want to share like what school do i go to or by now you guys may have figured out what city i live in um i'm not going to share that publicly yet i don't think but i'm fine and i'm i'm never going to like share my last name really but i'm fine releasing like my first name which you guys know it's in older videos and when i do a video with friends they call me that so i'm fine releasing that but releasing my last name I'm not okay with, releasing uh, where I go to school I'm not okay with because I don't really want to be like, I don't want somebody to show up at my school to try and talk to me and I don't, I'm not going to share where I live because I don't want somebody showing up at my door because that would just kind of be freaky and a bit strange and I don't know, it would probably not be great for anybody really as um, I've got to make videos and that might deter me. Um, See, I'm not going to share that. Uh, what else did I say? I'm, I'm fine with, like, you guys knowing my name and knowing that I live in Texas, because Texas is great, and everybody should live in Texas if I, if they had it my, if, um, I could have it my way. But, yeah, for the most part, as I've said multiple times already, I'm just going to not, I, I'd just like to keep my religious and political views private, and, um, religious, political views, and opinions private, so that people don't get offended by those things. Um, of course, as I said, I will make a joke about politics occasionally, and I'd like to keep personal information away. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to answer that question, Elboy, but thank you. It's a good question, and it led to a good talking segment from me in my... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, we can't... Okay, okay, we're safe. I uh, probably should have should made the roof higher there. Um, hmm, okay. Um, so, yeah, but thanks. It was a good question. Um, anyways, next question, uh, five, we have five questions from Elboy11 besides that one, and, you, oh, by the way, Elboy, I'm not trying to, like, offend you or anything, you don't need to apologize for asking that question in the comments below, um, because I'm, we don't need these emeralds, except for trading with villagers, but we're not gonna do that, so, yeah, don't feel bad about that question, I, it was, I actually enjoyed that, because it, I felt like it was a good discussion, good discussion, good talk from me to the, me to you, viewers. So anyways, on to the next five questions from Elboy. Number one, do you play console games? No, nope, already answered that earlier. Um, number two, are you going to record your journey back after you reach Mount Doom? I wasn't planning on it, um, partly because I don't want to have my, I don't want to have to go all the way back, and partly because I'm trying to make this, let's play, what's the word? Canon isn't the right word at all. I'm trying to make this Let's play kind of coincide with the Hobbit, um, with the Hobbit slash the Lord of the Rings, um, because with the Hobbit, the the Hobbit, it, the part that corresponds with the Hobbit is me being Bilbo, and the journey part, the part that corresponds with the Lord of the Rings is carrying the ring to Mount Doom. So I try to combine. Oh, hit the mic again. Try to combine. The, why do I keep doing these hand gestures? They're bad. Um, I'm trying to merge the two books into one journey. So, and. Because that the main walking journey part, the quest is from Lord of the Rings. The journey is from The Hobbit. That's that's how I'll phrase it. And since The Hobbit, I don't know if this is spoilers. In the okay, so spoiler warning. I'll put like a no, I won't. But spoiler warning. Just mute the video for thirty seconds, and I'll try to get through it then. Um. So starting so here's your spoiler warning. Three, two, one. Mute. So in The Hobbit, uh, after Bilbo completes his tasks and, or after he reaches Mount Doom with the dwarves and they defend the mountain and claim their treasure, he goes back, he reaches back in, but we don't really see the journey back. It's 
kind of just gone because the book just the second or third to last chapter is the Battle of the Five Armies, and then it, it, he's just back. So, because of that, I'm not going to be recording my journey back. Hopefully, those 30 seconds don't know. Anyways, spoiler over. Um, so, yeah, I hope that answers your question, if you didn't have it on mute. Um, so, yeah, if you didn't understand what I was saying, if or if I didn't make myself clear, just send me a message uh, on YouTube. Um, next question from Elboy11. Number three, what is your favorite animal? Hmm, I could go with the Napoleon Dynamite answer and say Liger, because Liger is pretty much the coolest animal ever invented, and it's bred for its extreme skills and magic, or whatever the quote is. Maybe so great. So quotable. Every line of dialogue just about is quotable. Uh, favorite animal? I can't say hobbits, because that is A, either not an animal, or B, offensive um, to small, vertically challenged midgets. Yeah, um... Hmm. Favorite animal. I want to say dogs, but that's cliche. My favorite, my favorite domesticated animal is a dog. My favorite animal would be a tiger, maybe, maybe a tiger. Because tigers, tigers are pretty cool. You've got to admit, tigers are awesome. They look cool, and they're jungle people. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, tigers. There's some, probably some really cool bird as well that I'm not thinking of. But yeah, I'll just, I'll just say tiger for now. Uh, number four, um, is there going to be a Minecraft personal world updates? Probably not one again, because as I've stopped playing Minecraft, I haven't played on that as much. Although I do occasionally play with my sisters, except there have been server issues with the server host that we were using where parts of the world would get rolled back, which is very annoying, and the server... It, you would have to manly, manually turn it on like once every hour or something if you wanted to use it. And that got quite annoying when my sisters asked me to keep turning the server on. So I'm probably not going to unless I start playing on that again. So yeah, I don't think so. But it was a good series while it lasted. Um, and I quite enjoyed it, those two episodes. So, And I think those are, personally, I think that those are also really great videos that you should check out. Um, because I'm really proud of that world and that house and stuff. So, yeah, there won't be another one, unfortunately, for you guys that enjoyed it. Um, number, f okay, number five, what countries have you traveled to, if not what states? Uh, I haven't been out of the, out of, oh gosh, out of the United States, but there were several in instances where I was very close. One time, I flew a bit over Canada, when I was traveling to Colorado, that's a state I've been to, Colorado. Um, so one time I flew a bit over Canada, and then I've been to Big Bend National Park several times on biking excursions, and of course that's the part we were at is right on the Rio Grande, and that means it's right near the border of Mexico. Um, so I've been very close to Mexico, and one of those trips that I sent something to another country. I picked up a rock. I don't know if this is legal and if I should be um, telling you this, but I haven't given away like where my, where I live and where I go to school and my last name. So come at me, authorities. Please don't. Please don't. I'm, I'm only 15. I have so much to live for and so much that I want to do. Um, I threw. I picked up a rock and I threw it across the border to Mexico once. So yeah, that's my. Um, I sent immigrant over. Sort of. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. And that's really the closest I've come to setting foot in another country. Um, but states I've traveled to. Of course, I've been to Texas because I live here. I've been to Connecticut to visit my cousins. I've been to Washington, D.C. That's not a state. It's more like a district, but it's be between Virginia and Maryland. I've been to Virginia um, because I, uh, when I went to D.C., I went to some historical sites in Virginia, uh, George Washington's plantation, Colonial Williamsburg. Fantastic, by the way. Washington, D.C. So cool. Probably one of my favorite cities besides uh, Dallas or Austin or um, another cool city. Um, Houston in Texas. Not, well, I'm not a fan of it. It's messy and the air smells funny and there's... A lot of fat people. It's seriously like 
Houston is the most obese state in the nation, uh, obese city in the nation, according to you, census from website from the year. May have changed, but Houston's still up that list. So I don't like Houston at all. Uh, Dallas and Austin, I like a lot. Uh, San Antonio is pretty cool as well. Um, those are my favorite Texas cities. Um, but other cities that I like, Washington, uh, that, that's what I was talking about, Washington, D.C., absolutely fantastic city. If you are if you can go to one place in the U.S., um, that that's the first place you should go to for historical reasons. Uh, plus the Smithsonian's, they're like the most famous museums in the world. They're absolutely fascinating. Air and Space Museum is like my favorite museum I've been to, um, because it is very interesting. So yeah, um, but other states I've been to, I went, um, sh I'm not sure if I should say this, I'm sorry if I'm about to offend anybody, any viewers from Oklahoma, but I've been to Oklahoma, and yeah, Oklahoma is not very pretty, I, well, th I didn't go in the countryside, the, the countrysides, I bet there's some very pretty, there, I bet there's some very pretty landscape, but the cities are just ugly and stuff, and yeah, I went to Oklahoma City, and it was awful. It smelled awful, and it was very dirty. So, yeah, I don't like Oklahoma. Uh, I've been to Colorado several times, New Mexico for skiing. I went to California once when I was very little. I don't have much memory of it, but I did go to Legoland. Um, oh, yeah, I went on a road trip to Tennessee once, and I drove through stuff on the way to Tennessee, which included Arkansas, a bit of Louisiana, um, I, I'm, I'm terrible at geography, by the way. Um, I think through a Carolina, if there's a Carolina that connects to Tennessee, but I know I went through Arkansas and Louisiana, um, on the way to, uh, Tennessee. So yeah, I've been to Tennessee. Tennessee's pretty cool. Music, and there's some really good barbecue we had, but obviously it didn't beat the Texas barbecue. Am I right? Up top. Okay. Um, hey, we got a desert well. We should camp in this. Uh, yeah, we'll camp it here for the night. Um, if we can empty this out. Yeah, we can just put a bed here. That's a nice little camping spot. I think we can put a bed here. Can we not put a bed here? Oh, is it slabs? Yeah, it's slabs. This, yeah, um, okay. Can you not put a bed in water or something? Come on, let me put a bed down. I want to... Put down. Don't make me do this game. Um, so yeah. I think that's about it. If unless I've been to like Arizona or something, but I don't remember. Um oh, did I mention Ohio? Because I've been to Ohio. Um so yeah, I've been to those uh states and I don't know if I've been to any other ones. So yeah, I hope that answers your question, L Boy. Um Oh, it's not yet nighttime. So, uh, while we're waiting, that's all the questions. Um, thank you for all your questions. Once again, guys, if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, feel free to ask them in the comments below, and I'll get to them in the next episode of the 100,000 Block Journey. Um, so yeah, guys, I'll be back with another episode of this uh, next Monday, but because it is the end of day 15, it is time to press the F3 button. Let's see where we are. 33, 30, 34,000, roughly 34,000 blocks. That is, it's not bad at all. The estimated was 32,000 blocks. We are 1,000 blocks ahead. That's half a day's travel. So that's nice. We are, the, the horse, of course, would be much faster. If we can find more horses, that'd be great, because I do have the saddle. Um, but we are well on our way. We're, we are about 4,000 blocks off course on the Z axis, because Mount Doom's located around 100,000 X minus 5. Z, so we'll need to correct that, and we'll gradually do that. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the 100,000 Block Journey. I'll be back with another episode of the 100,000 Block Journey next Monday, and I'll be back tomorrow with an episode of Terraria 1.2 with JXW or Terraria Living Underground. So anyways, guys, if you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.